everybody, it's Jean. I'm here today with a great friend and colleague, Jay Bear, who is the author with Daniel Lehman of this wonderful book, I Love the Llamas, uh, Talk Triggers. You got one too, we all have the book. Hey Jay, tell everybody about yourself and your experience and how you got focused on customers and experience and this connection with Talk Triggers. Uh, thanks, my friend. Great to be here. Actually, just a quick point of reference. They are alpacas. Oh, I said uh, llamas. I, oh, I don't I, know my I animals. I learned that difference the hard way when we shot a bunch of promotional videos at a farm that has both. Uh, uh, what's the difference? Are, well, uh, it's funny you say that. So many people have asked me that question. We're actually doing like a whole blog post and an infographic. Oh, uh, it's like content of the differences. But llamas are much bigger. Ah. Uh, and even though they're bigger, they are much more uh, chill. Alpacas oh. are smaller uh, and kind of skittish. Uh, oh, so you picked the skittish ones. Yeah, we didn't do that on purpose. Uh, it just kind of worked out that way. But I'm psyched to be here. Thank you very much. As you know, I, I run a consulting firm called Convince and Convert, which works with big brands on content strategy, social strategy, CX strategy, word of mouth strategy, uh, like we talk about in this book. And, and while a lot of our work has been in uh, the marketing side over the last 10 years, what we have found over the last uh, three or four years is that all of our clients are asking us questions that aren't really about marketing. Mm. It's about, well, how, how, do we, how do we get customers talking about us? Or, or how do we get people to share our content in social? It was all these bigger issue kind of CX questions. And we're like, geez, if, if our clients who are some of the biggest companies in the world don't know this, then a lot of people don't know this. And mm. so that's why I wrote the book, Hug Your Haters, about customer service and online CX a couple of years ago. And now this book, Talk Triggers, uh, about word of mouth and how CX creates conversations yeah. uh, when you do it differently. Well, you know, what I love is this is a podcast for customer experience leaders. Also, you know, it's a CMO, it's a CXO, it's a CSO, CCO. What you're bringing to us is a, a new term, a new, you know, piece of information in our arsenal of what to do, the talk trigger. Um, because we're not only building experiences, but we want to create a beloved kind of company where people yep. talk about us and become an army. So yep. talk about for our community, what is a talk trigger? And give us a few examples so it's real. Sure. The, the key here, I think, is to fundamentally embrace that customer experience can not only help you from a retention standpoint, mm -hmm. but can also manifestly help you from an acquisition standpoint. That makes sense. Now, the mistake that a lot of people make, especially in CX, mm -hmm. is thinking that competency creates conversation. That if you just have a good customer experience or you run a good business, that customers will naturally talk about that. Mm -hmm. But will they? And if so, what will they say? Good is not terribly talkable. I don't know everybody uh, who's, who's uh, tuning in. I probably know some, but I do know this, Gene. Nobody, nobody ever says, hey, let me tell you about this perfectly adequate experience I just had. True. You need memory, say, memorable, right? something. That yeah, it's, not, it's a bad story. Yeah. So when you're using CX for acquisition, what you're really trying to do is turn your customers into volunteer marketers. Mm -hmm. And that works if you give them an interesting story to tell. That story is your talk trigger, which we define in the book as a strategic operational differentiator. And I'm, that, I want to interject because it's important that you yeah. said operational because yes. there's so much kumbaya going on in this work. Oh, it's, it's an operational differentiator that compels word of mouth. It, 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 your, your customers can't help themselves. They have to tell somebody about this special little thing that you do different. And that's it. A talk trigger is something you do different. It's not something you say different. It's not marketing. It's not, it's not a promotion. It's not a product. It's not a price. It's not a coupon or a contest. It is an operational thing. That, it's a choice. It's, an op, it's a CX choice. That earns this. That earns conversations. Yep. Okay. So what are a couple examples that are very operational? Companies had to do something deliberate. Yeah. Sure. Um, uh, I'll give you two examples. One small, okay. one large. Good. Small business example. Uh, okay. One of my favorites. There's a restaurant in Sacramento, California called Skip's Kitchen. Hmm. Skip's is a very simple premise. It's a counter service restaurant. You go to the front, you order your food, they bring your food out to you. Okay. 
Their talk trigger, however, their CX, their operational choice is this. Before you pay, the counter service person whips out a deck of cards from under the counter. Really? And fans them out face down in front of you. And they say, Gene, pick a card. And you're like, hmm. so you pick a card. Mm -hmm. And if you get a joker, it's your entire meal is free. Uh, whether you ordered for yourself or an entire baseball team. Wow. Uh, Skips has been in business for 10 years. They have spent a grand total of zero dollars on advertising ever. They've never bought an ad. Yet there's a line to get in almost every day. And they were just named the 29th best hamburger restaurant in America. Wow. By USA Today. And now, the food must be good, right? You got to good. good. Of course it's good. good. But here's the thing. Good is table stakes. Yeah, like, I, I agree. Yeah. I mean, the reason, the reason why good isn't a talk trigger is that all your competition is also good or yes. they wouldn't be in business. Right, right. Like That's it's so, the, the bar to clear mm -hmm. to, to use competency as a conversation catalyst is so high that very few companies can do it. And, 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 and most simply will never be able to. So the, 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 the Joker thing is their deal, right? And so mm -hmm. about three people a day on average win. Mm. And when they win, they go batshit crazy, right? They're taking patty melt selfies and calling their mom and, you know, putting reviews on Yelp and TripAdvisor and a high school marching band shows up. It's quite, it's quite <laughs> dramatic. It, the thing is, it's, it's so powerful that in Sacramento, <laughs> at the restaurant, there's a giant neon sign out front. It says Skip's Kitchen. Can't miss it. But in Sacramento, nobody calls it Skip's Kitchen. They call it That Joker Restaurant. Oh, my gosh. Right? I mean, that is extraordinary. And now that isn't marketing. That is an operational choice. They got to have the cards. They got to train the staff. They got to, you know, it's, it's a thing they have to do. It's CX yeah. that creates marketing advantages downstream. I'll give you a big business example. Okay, cool. That I know you're familiar with because okay. you traveled a ton. Doubletree Hotels by Hilton. Sure. Every single day, every single guest, they give you a warm chocolate chip cookie when mm -hmm. you check in. True. Sure. They've been doing this for 30 years, every day. A lot of cookies. Do you, did anybody count how many cookies? 75,000 per day. Of course they did, right wow. 75,000 a day. Now that's a lot of cookies. Mm -hmm. Now we did a four separate proprietary, expensive, first party research projects for this book. This is not, Jay says this is a good idea. We did four yep. separate studies. Wow. One of the studies was we surveyed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Doubletree customers. And we said, you know, what do you notice differently? 34%, mm -hmm. 34% of their customers have, without being asked, proactively mentioned that cookie mm. to somebody else in the last 30 days. Which wow. means that on average, 25,000 people a day talk about that cookie. Companion well, and, they, and the cookie always connects with the name of the hotel. Of course. Yeah, of course. There you go. And, and, and companion question, when's the last time you saw a Doubletree ad? You haven't seen very many because the cookie, their CX is the ad and their guests are the marketing department. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you've heard the saying that advertising is a tax on the unremarkable. Oh, love that. Yeah, exactly. There's some truth to that yeah, when it comes great. to word of mouth yeah. and, and talk triggers. Now, I wouldn't say it's entirely true, but, but there is definitely a kernel of truth there. So both Skip's Kitchen and Doubletree have figured out a way to do something different operationally, to bake a special customer experience into how they do business yep. that turns those customers into a word of mouth wave. And when that happens, you're in great shape because the best way to grow any business, like I don't even care, the best way to grow any business is for your customers to do the growing for you. Yeah.